cut that out. Go inside it about an inch. That way it's under the rock. This, if I can make it so the tree comes in and out, that's what I want to do. For, you know, you, you got a seven or eight foot tree on there. If you want to put this in the back of a van or something, it'd have to be a pretty tall van. So if we can take at least, if we can take the tree out, that would help. Should be able to at least take the top half of the tree. But, uh, be nice if you could take the whole tree out if you wanted to for some reason. I don't know how it's going to work because I don't know how the base is going to work in there if you take it if you take the whole thing out. So that's a good time to point this out because it's not going to be on the video, but. This plywood originally came all the way out to the edge here, kind of like it does right here. And I just used the router and routed it back to give me a ledge to staple this to. And then I'll bring the paper mache down. And then my outside board, the decorative board that goes on the outside, will cover that up. All right? And on this end, that board will come up. So that's the thought. Yeah, we'll see how that works. one back foot up on this rock. It's kind of what I'm thinking. What I'm going to do is drill down on here to give it the contour I'm looking for. Remember I talked about putting these pieces under there and then screwing that down so there's some contour. Um, I'm going to use cabinet screws. You, you could get the same effect by putting a washer on a regular screw, but this will keep um, the screen from wanting to pull through because it's got a really big head. They're used for mounting cabinets. So I'm going to put a few of these in. Drastic ridge. This is, but I also want to stay away from where the foot's going to be mounted.
there. Good with that. Okay, I'm gonna put these rocks down, mount them down. Got two and a half inch construction screws, is what I'm gonna use. size I got. Straight down here. Yeah, I don't need to fill a tiny crack like that. If you want to, you can, but you don't need to. All right, I think that's it. I wanted to show you something. I did uh, a test piece, so I just took a chunk of 2x4 and stapled some screen on it. Put some of our styrofoam under there for some contour. And then I put on a coat of the mache, and this is what I came up with. It's solid. It's a fairly thin coat. You can see the screen through, so I need to make sure I get a little bit thicker. But that's exactly what I'm going for, is just a fairly smooth texture that I can put uh, sand on. Well, I just got done cleaning up the gun, and that's already... Already good enough to flatten out and form the way I want it. All right. Okay, guys. I've got my. Uh, Stuff mixed up here to start covering this rock. I'm gonna build this out just a little here. Soften that edge a little so it's not 
this is such a sharp edge, not that this can't have that. I, I want to be able to soften it just a little bit. I'm going to build it out. I also did this little rock, filled all the holes, and then went around the edge. Obvious. Blend it and taper it in. This whole ridge is built out here. All right, I'm going to try to make this as steady as possible and just kind of show you what it looks like after we've textured it in. Covered screw holes. Get this here. Got a ledge there. I see a spot I want to hit. So that's it for now. We'll let that dry and then we're gonna paint the rocks. Hi guys, here we're back. We're gonna get started on painting the habitat. Take this off. What I have here is just a, kind of a beige paint. It's gonna be a flat or a satin, you don't want something shiny, you don't want uh, gloss or high gloss. But I'm going to cover, seal all the jointing we did so it doesn't, so I can paint the rock, the actual color it's going to be. So depending on the painting technique you're going to use, you don't have to seal this but you can seal it for any no matter how you paint it you can seal it but there's some you have to seal it does that make sense am i saying that right i think i think you get my my point so i'm going to seal it i haven't decided for sure which technique i'm going to use to paint the actual rock but If we were just painting this gray, we wouldn't have to seal.
you don't seal it and you do some certain techniques, the paint will soak into the joint mixture, the joint compound, and you'll see it definitely. So I just want to make sure it's sealed good. And you could do this with a, a clear, even it doesn't have to be a color. And I've probably done enough here. But I just want to make sure. All right, we're going to let that dry, and then we'll come back with the next technique.